Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a complex system. Now why do I call this a complex system? Because Z and W are complex numbers as you will see in a little bit. So I'll be presenting two methods but the second method will fork and we'll talk about that later. Well let's start with the first method. And before I start with the first method, I kind of try to graph these things, right? And I'm like, uh-oh, unfortunately, Desmos only supports implicit equations of x and y. Isn't that sad? I should be able to graph this. But anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at the first method first. I have z plus w equals 4 and z cubed plus w cubed equals 4. Hmm, very cool. How is that possible, right? So here's what we're going to do. Since we have a linear equation, let's go ahead and take advantage of that and isolate w from the first equation and write it as 4 minus z and then substitute it into the first equation. So I'm using substitution for this system. I'm going to go ahead and replace this w with 4 minus z and interesting things will happen. z cubed plus 4 minus z cubed equals 4 and then let's go ahead and expand it. We're going to get z cubed plus, this is going to give me 64 minus z cubed minus 12z times 4 minus z. I'm just using my formula that I'm used to. a minus b quantity cubed is a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab multiplied by a minus b. That's the formula I use. And this is equal to 4. Great. What do we get from here? A cubic equation? No. It's going to be not cubic because it's going to be quadratic because z cube cancels out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now we end up with a really nice quadratic because all quadratics are nice, right? If there is a quadratic that's not nice, uh, that is nice. Anyways, that didn't make sense at all. Um, 12z squared minus 48z plus 64. And I'm going to subtract the 4, so that's going to become a 60. Yay, I got a common factor. Awesome. And that's 12, which is the leading coefficient, which is super nice. Divide everything by 12. Z squared minus 4Z plus 5 equals 0. And you might be tempted to find like 5 and 1 or 5 and negative 1. Uh-oh. This is not factorable because the solutions are... Let's find that by using the quadratic formula. Negative B plus minus the square root of B squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 5, which is 20. 16 minus 20 is negative 4. That gives us 4 plus minus 2i over 2. And after division by 2, we get 2 plus minus i. As you can see here, we got complex non-real solutions. That's why I call this a complex system. And you could also solve this equation, by the way, by completing the square. doesn't matter, no big deal. We got the solutions. Make sense? Okay. If you're good, then we'll continue with the second method. All right. So the second method actually uses something real cool. Let's rewrite our equation. Z plus W is 4 and Z cubed plus W cubed is equal to 4. I'm going to use Z plus W to the third power. Binomial theorem, right? And we can write this as Z cubed plus w cubed plus 3zw. Again, I'm using my identity. One of my identities, one of my favorite identities. Instead of expanding the whole thing and then try to factor it, I like to write it that way because it's already partially factored. But notice something here. We do know z plus w. It's equal to 4. Awesome. And we also know the sum of two cubes, which is 4. This gives us a great deal of information, and this is also equal to 4. Let's plug it in. 64 equals 4 plus... 12 z w hopefully you'll remember that 12 from before subtract and divide you're going to get z w equals 5 right okay what's that supposed to mean i know that z plus w is 4 and z w is 5 and by using vieta's formulas we can actually come up with an equation vieta's formulas basically give us an equation whose uh, sum of roots product of roots and all that all those combinations are given so in this case I'm going to write it like this, t squared minus z plus w, t plus z w equals 0. That's going to be my equation from these roots. And 
z plus w is 4, so it's going to be t squared minus 4t plus 5 equals 0. And as you know, the solutions to this quadratic are 2 plus i and 2 minus i. By the way, there's a f uh, method called, well, he's not the first one to discover it, but Paul Shan Lo is a great mathematician, and he kind of worked on the formula. And anyways, that's a different story. You can look it up. So these are going to be the solutions to this equation. All right. Now. I told you that I'm going to branch off of the second method. Now we're going to look at an alternative. So if this is called the second method A or 2A, this is one is going to be called 2B or not 2B. Yay. Okay, so now here's my equation. Z plus W is equal to 4. Z cubed plus W cubed is equal to 4. So how does the 2B method work? Easy we're going to use kind of Vieta's formulas again, right? And the way they work is actually as follows. I do know that the sum of these two is 4 and the product is 5. This is the sum, remember, and this is the product. So I can basically do the following with the 2B method. I can go ahead and look at the sum of the roots. Now, what are the roots? I'm going to assume, since these are complex roots, suppose z is equal to a plus bi and w is equal to a minus bi. Wait a minute, why did you pick the conjugate? Because their sum and product are both real. Get the idea? I do know that these two are real numbers. That means z and w are complex conjugates. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at z plus w, which is 2a because bi cancels out. And we know it's equal to 4, so a is equal to 2. And their product, zw, is equal to a squared plus b squared. Remember, that's a real number from multiplying to conjugates, and that's equal to 5. But since a is 2, this is 4, so b squared is 1, which means b is equal to 1 or negative 1, which gives you two solutions, 2 plus i or 2 minus i as before. Right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.